Hello and welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. With summer just around the corner, we're taking a look at air conditioning, swimming pools, and some outdoor decor. Plus, we've got a home remodeling project and we explore the world of home entertainment system installing. Wait till you see some of these systems. And it's all right here on Designing Spaces. It's really interesting to see how a basement space can be made comfortable. And because of the humidity control, you can probably set up a nice entertainment system down there. Smooth segue. Now, you could do it yourself, or you could have it done right by a professional. Here's Andy with a story. In the new digital world, information is available in quantities never before known. The same could be said for entertainment. Our grandparents watched TV or turned on the radio. All that was needed was to plug it in and adjust the antenna. But today, we are looking at widescreen, high-definition television with surround sound, integrated into a home entertainment system from a wide variety of sources. And with all this fantastic technology comes this, a confusing tangle of wires and often limitations on the full potential of your home entertainment system. If you're planning on creating a theatrical experience out of your home entertainment system, who do you rely on to make sure that all the electronic components work together effectively? A home entertainment system is a big investment, one of the biggest investments a homeowner can make. But making sure that all those components work together is often overlooked. The solution? Hire a professional CDS certified electronic systems contractor. Joining Designing Spaces today is Jeff Hoover, a CEDIA member. Jeff, thanks for being here. It's great to be here. So Jeff, tell us about CEDIA. Well, CEDIA is the Custom Electronic Design and Installation Association, and we're a nonprofit international association that has over 3,500 members in over 42 different countries. CEDIA's main purpose is to sponsor ethics and education throughout the industry so that our membership is always on the cutting edge of new technologies and we're capable of delivering the best electronic systems for our clients' homes. What kind of certification do CEDIA members go through? Well, CEDIA certification process has become very, very large. I mean, it's available across the country in many locations. There are a number of different certifications that CEDIA offers for different disciplines within our industry. Types that are more technical for the installers and the people that have to service and put in the systems, and design type systems for people that have to actually do the design of all of these multiple systems in your home before it's even built. So the certification will span all of those different categories. So does CEDIA provide continuing education? The continuing education is a function of maintaining your certification. So not only do you need to get the education so that you'd be able to pass the certification because field experience is only going to get you, you know, so far, but it, to keep your certification current, you have to continually take classes so that CEDIA can make sure that you really are up to date with these new technologies that are constantly changing. Now, why would I call CEDIA as opposed to just picking one of the hundreds of electricians out of the phone book? Well, an electrician and electronic systems contractor really do different things. Electricians provide the power to and throughout your home. But an electronic systems contractor is going to provide the independent systems that give you the entertainment and the convenience and the security that you, that you would want from electronic systems in your home. And what is the best time to contact a CEDIA member? Is it before I build the house or after the house is built? Well, the earlier that you can involve a CEDIA member in the construction of your home, the better. So you'd ideally like to meet with them when you're still doing designs with your architect. So it's less expensive to have it done in the planning stages than it would be to do it when your house is already built and they have to break down walls. Oh, it, it's far less expensive and it also provides you opportunities that you may not be able to take advantage of if your home's already been built. And Jeff, how would I find a CEDIA certified member? Well, CEDIA has made it easy to find a CEDIA member. You go to the CEDIA website, which is www.cedia.org, click on their dealer finder service, type in your zip code, and a list of certified members in your area will pop right up. So it's that easy? Real easy. Wow, Jeff, this is a beautiful room. Tell me, how did you come up with the design concept for this room? Well, the client came up with the motif. They uh, wanted to have a really fun room to have their entertainment center. In fact, they call this the jungle room. What we did was help them pick out things that would enhance the acoustics of the room 
to maximize the potential of a really high-end audio system that went along with their big screen TV. So the upholstered wall and the big tapestry on the back wall and the, the bamboo on the wall, all of these things were chosen to try and make sure that this room could deliver the quality that these components were capable of. So the bamboo and the tapestry is not only beautiful, but it actually serves a purpose in this room. They help the acoustics of the room a great deal. Now I noticed that the television has a bamboo screen. Did you buy it that way or did you actually create that? No, the screen was one of the problems. I mean, the, co the commercial look of the screen didn't fit the jungle room concept. So we helped the client out by getting some big bamboo and framing it up so that it fit the need, uh, the look that they were looking for inside the room. And I noticed that a lot of the sound components really do fit into this room perfectly. How did you decide which components would go in this room? Well, the client in this room, just like through the rest of their home or any other client, has to go through a series of choices. And in this particular room, they had to think of you know, the quality of the system that they were looking for. Certainly the cosmetics of the equipment played a big issue in this particular room. And then budget comes into play. You know, a system like this is, is kind of expensive. You also have to consider the cosmetics of the equipment. And when you move the client through all of those different areas, it makes it easier for them to make the right choice for their room. I don't know how anybody could consider doing this without a professional involved, not to mention the time. Well, it certainly can be confusing, but like other aspects of your home or anything you have to do in life, the more planning you put in early, the better the result of the project at the end. So the more time you spend with your CDA consultant, the more likely you are to get exactly what you're looking for, get it on time, and get it in your budget. So time up front saves time in the back end and guarantees you'll be happy. That was some great information, Jeff. Thanks so much for being on Designing Spaces. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Likewise. A CDA professional can help you navigate through all your different options and make sure that your products work together seamlessly, all at the touch of a button. For Designing Spaces, I'm Andy Tillis. Those were some nice home entertainment systems. Very nice. You kick back, you relax, you watch a little David, a little Debbie, Designing Spaces on the big screen. Oh, that would be great. Brother, I think it's time to say goodbye. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. Goodbye, everyone. Seriously, surround sound.